Welcome. Today, we'll be going through A2 from the Putnam Maths exam 2002. Given any five points on a sphere, show that some four of them must lie on a closed hemisphere. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. We will use the pigeonhole principle, but not immediately. What can you do before applying it? Hint number two. We can split the sphere into two hemispheres. Can you find a way to ensure some points will be on both hemispheres? In other words, on which part of the hemispheres must these points lie? Hint number three. Consider the great circle of two points. So the great circle, or a great circle, is a circle on the surface of the sphere with the same centre as the sphere. Solution. Take two points and draw the great circle going through these two points. Now imagine splitting the sphere into two hemispheres along this great circle. So the two points will lie on both hemispheres. We now have three remaining points and two hemispheres. So by pigeonhole principle, one of the spheres will have at least two of the remaining points. Now these two points and the two points lying on the great circle or the base of the hemisphere gives us four points lying on one closed hemisphere. This was what we needed to prove and hence we are finished. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.